Hi, everybody. I'm Sin. Welcome to the Book Nook, where we talk about the awesomeness that is books. Today, we're going to talk about everything in my past, present, and future of books, the books I've finished, the ones that I have started, and what is my future in books, 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 books. <laughs> so, recently I finished, the first one I finished was The Great Witch of Brittany by Louisa Morgan. This book is featured in a couple other videos, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. It follows the story of Ursula Orchier from the 1700s, and that was a time of turmoil when, you know, the churches and uh, the villagers, the horrible villagers, they just wanted to burn witches. And it follows the story of her life, how she finds out about her powers, and just what happens in her and her family's life. And it was like such an emotional roller coaster of awesomeness, and it was a really, really fantastic read. If you like witchy stories, this one could be for you. So the next one I finished was the Shadow Atlas. This is a compendium of short stories and poetry and artwork, and it's got themes of paranormal and mythology and horror and if you like those things and it's also woven together it's the way that it weaves together it's like they're all parts of this whole and it's beautifully done and i really really loved it and if you're looking for a book of short stories because maybe you don't want to read a whole giant book uh you can pick it up and put it down and i pick things up and put them down <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you can pick it up and put it down, and it was just uh, really beautifully written. And there's probably about 20 different authors involved. I picked it up originally because I saw that Josh Mallerman had a story in it, which was really good. So yeah, that was one that I recently finished. Actually, I finished that yesterday. So the next book I finished, and I was debating on whether including this or not, but hey, I read the YouTube formula by Daryl. Is it Eves? 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 Daryl Eves. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, so I wanted to learn. And this had some helpful tips. It was all right. There's some good tips in there. You can glean some good knowledge from this. All right, so the next thing, those are the books I just finished. Now, what I'm currently reading is the Kaiju Preservation Society. Oh, do you know what a kaiju is? I hope I'm saying that right. So what that is, is basically it's like a Godzilla type creature. And this story is about these creatures from an alternate dimension. It follows the story of this guy, Jamie Gray, who was working for this food delivery company where he was, you know, not a delivery person until he gets demoted and they want him to be a delivery person. So he starts doing that. And it's during the times of COVID. And it, it's kind of weird now, like how as books are being written and new ones come out, COVID is included into the story because it's changed how everything is and how our lives are and how we go about our lives. So this is one of the first fiction books that I've read that has had um, in the times of COVID. He's in New York City. And so, you know, he's delivering food to different people and he runs into some guy that he used to know a long time ago. And I think he knew him through college or, or something of that sort. And they kind of, like, get a relationship. And then uh, the last time he delivers him food, he's like, yeah, I'm going to quit this job, so this is the last time you'll see me. And his his friend at this point, I guess they've become more friends as they see each other. I mean, they don't hang out or anything. But so he offers him a job. He's like, I need someone to just, you know, help with lifting things, this, that, and the other. He's like, I work for an animal preservation society. But he doesn't tell them exactly what kind of animals. He just says they're large. He just tells them they're large. So, you know, Jamie takes the job. So they leave and they get ready to leave. And once he takes this job, like, the money they're paying him is a lot. And they take care of, like, his student loans and all this other stuff. And, like, it's like this magical income and net that just came to pull him out of the water as he was floundering and drowning. Because, like, he might have lost his apartment it's weird times, no one's hiring because of COVID and all that. And so he's going to Greenland. Greenland is where this is all going to take place, where they're going to go take care of these large creatures. So everyone's like, oh, it must be polar bears or something. 
And then they get to this base that was supposed to be a decommissioned military base, and they go in there. They Because they use the nuclear, re- nuclear reactor, somehow this opens up an interdimensional rift. And they travel through it. And then they find out the creatures that they're going to be preserving are Godzilla-like creatures. And that's all I'll tell you about this book. I'm not too far into it so far, but it's the, the pacing's well. The way it's written is really good and I'm enjoying it immensely so far and if you like Godzilla I think you'll like this <laughs> all right so that's what I'm currently reading now I have two future books let's talk about the future books this book should be coming in the mail today I ordered it, it is called Black Phone by Joe Hill this is a story collection as well it was originally published as 20th Century Ghosts featuring the story, The Black Phone. And they're actually making this into a movie that will be coming out in June. So I don't know. I think I might read the book a little closer to when the movie's going to come out. And then we'll do a book review of that closer to that time. I got a big pile of books to read. So the story is, so Jack Finney is 13. He's alone and in desperate trouble. Things are not looking so good. For two years now, someone has been stalking boys of Galesburg, stealing them away, never to be seen again. So now Finney finds himself in danger of joining them. He's locked in the psychopath basement, and it's a place stained with blood of like half a dozen murders of children. Not a good situation to find yourself in. So with him in this subterranean cell is this antique phone. Long since disconnected, so it's not connected, it's just there. But it rings at night anyway. With calls from the killer's previous victims. They're dead, but they're set on making sure what happened to them doesn't happen to him. So he's getting these phone calls from the dead. And I thought that sounded pretty fascinating. I actually first heard about this book from Lovely Reads 101. And I will put a uh, link to her channel down below. And I thought this sounded really freaking interesting. So Black Phone's one of the 15 stories in Joe Hill's story collection. It just seemed like it would be a really interesting read. I like horror a lot, and I thought that story sounded pretty cool, and I look forward to reading it. So that is one of my future books. So another future book, this one I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I put in a request on NetGalley for Will Wheaton's Still Just a Geek. I love Will Wheaton. He's so nerdy. And I just, I don't know, I like to read biographies from time to time, and I thought this one would be fun. So I put in a request at NetGalley. We'll see if we'll see if I get it or not. If not, maybe I'll try to get it at the library. So it looks like this would be a humorous, kind of fun read about his life and all that good stuff. Thank you for everyone for joining me in the book nook today. If you had fun hanging out, boop that like button. Come back and see me again. If you guys like watching these videos where I talk about a bunch of books or book hauls, check out this next video. It's one of my library book hauls, and I talk about the awesomeness that is books. And then until next time, we'll see you later. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, there's what we...